than customized ones. <sighs> oh, change his mind. He changed his mind. Okay, then I, then I'm gonna move one at one. It might be possible if I place all these troops here that Terhut wants to peace out again for not. Yeah, okay, okay. This is starting to look better and better. Oh, now he changed his mind again? <laughs> yeah, uh, you. I, I will be defending in, uh, in hills now. Well, I was defending already, but... If these guys can now uh, move there... Yeah. So, if, if he doesn't twitch, then I'll make troops here again. Don't twitch, come on. Is he movement locked? Oh wait, 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 I'm silly. 25th? Yeah, I'm silly. The Merc would finish uh, before they would move out, that's not good. Yeah, now, now they are good. Uh, I'm taking, I I'm getting the impression I'm taking my eye off stuff and I should check now. Um, you go there. Oh, now Orissa is moving. Yeah, and these guys are on the way for my capital, so they protect me f indirectly from occupation. Uh, I don't know. If rebels are sieging my capital, and Orissa attacks, will they be attacker or defender? <sighs> now, these guys will be attacker, right? Yeah, they will, because they are sieging a fort then. Oh, things I gotta worry about. Yeah, so let's check. Tirhut. I can't piece you out quick. But if you place troops on a capital, if you besiege a capital of a nation you are at war with, they will be uh, more eager to make. Yeah, I can probably get a better peace deal now. So this is still the peace deal that I was talking about earlier. Do I do it? If I can get Nepal out. I I want to keep my, my border with uh, John Pure. They are like my only possible ally at the moment. Unless uh, Ayutthaya suddenly turned friendly. No, they didn't. I need an ally and I need him bad. I don't think Lana will re-ally me again now. No, they won't. Oh man, yeah, I, I need a border with John Pure to be able. No, I, I simply cannot give up. What I should be doing is trying to wipe out Nepal on favorable terrain. They got no uh, occupation yet, but they can only route to their only to their own provinces. I think I don't think they can route to allies. I'm not sure about that, but yeah, I, I should be doing the shortest route there. Um, grasslands, grasslands, hills. Yeah, the shortest route is probably going to Katahar. Katahar? <laughs> if you say Katahar in Dutch, it means uh, hat for, uh, hairs from a cat. <laughs> Katahar. Katehar? I, I don't know how you pronounce it in English. Uh, Katehar pro probably. Yeah. Never mind. I, I, I should be micromanaging. Not talking. You go there, you go there. Yeah, okay. You don't engage. If he twitches, then I gotta cancel all my... If he changes his mind, I gotta cancel all my troops. Yeah, he's movement lock. And I'm building mercs here, right? Double checking. Yeah, okay. So he he won't engage me in hills if I match his uh, troop count. What are the other guys doing? Okay. Orissa is sieging up. Um, if these guys actually occupy the fort, then they'll be defender. They'll stay on the capital, I think. I'm not sure, but I think, yeah, they might move out again. But still, if Orissa engages, they will be defender if they occupy my capital. Oh, man. This is probably going to take, like, hours on end again. Wait, what? He's coming back? <laughs> yeah, that's where this guy... Then this guy gets wiped. I don't care. But if I do like now this. 
when he's movement locked, then I can place like 11k on his capital, then he won't engage. Then it needs like to be Orissa that comes to get me here. Yeah, okay. I should be building whatever merc I can here. Cancel all my mercs again. And uh, yeah, go for it. Do I need to move anybody else? No, I don't. So, when uh, 11th of December, I gotta wait one day. Wait, what? 12th? Well, now it says the 12th also. Wait, what? It, what in the world? Did he twitch or something? Huh. He's actually uh, stopping and starting again every time I move in there. That's pretty funny. I I'm, I'm actually contemplating now on, on doing both sieges at once. Yeah, no. He'll simply come back then and engage me. And then I'll be... If no, I need more mercs first here. But I'm seriously considering uh, sieging up these two guys at once now. You will go there, you will go there. Do I still have mercs uh, on the way here? No. Should I? I think not. I, I need to leave this guy. Do I? No, I don't. He should be moving there. This guy, well... Oh, he can actually escape it still. Yeah, that's perfect. Escape it then. And he's movement locked. Um, Yeah. Okay, so... 6k there is 18th. That's 17. Yeah. That's like 11, 12. Yeah, then I, then I win. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Th Never mind. Uh, he is still at my capital. Orissa is moving west. He is there. Probably should just be doing that. Oh, no, he twitched. He doesn't. Yeah, he is afraid of engaging me now. That's what I wanted. Even on hills, he the AI thinks that I that he can't win anymore, and it's it's probably right. But now, if Orissa uh, come on, comes on up here, then I'm in trouble. So, um, I think Orissa. Uh, I could move to Orissa before, so they probably have, yeah, they have conditional access. And I'm wondering if I remove the access, if I remove my access now, then he has to go, yeah, Orissa won't be able to walk through Bengal because they hate their guts. Orissa, nah, they, they won't give access immediately, I mean direct access to Orissa because it's their rival. Yeah. So if I cancel my axis now... Oh wait, no. Yeah, Tirhut is interfering with that, aren't they? <sighs> axis rules, man. You, you can write books on axis rules as, as they are... Yeah, see? I'm pretty sure... Yeah. John Pure gives military axis to Tirhut, so yeah. Then they can probably... Yeah, they can probably move through here then. Yeah, no. It doesn't matter if I remove the axis, I think. I'm, I'm going to give it a shot anyhow, because the, if this guy is gone, uh, I mean like this, and then that, I, I don't have troops in the pipeline here anymore, do I? I can all build, build all my mercs over here now. <sighs> but do I really get rid of the axis? Not, not if Orissa is staying there. It, it, it's like, not as it is now, only... Uh, <sighs> they have the conditional access from John Pure from the war in Tirhut. The moment an enemy sets foot here, like uh, Nepal or... Uh, 
Oh, man. I can always get the axes back, I suppose. Yeah, if they if they still get the axes, I can still get it back within 30 days. So that's not a. Pr I should get, get rid of it and see. But yeah, I, I still got troops here. I should get rid of it when these troops are all gone. How many force? Uh, wait, what? How many province limit does this go? Oh wait, I got. I need to be sure that. Uh, um. Do I even have an heir yet? Yeah, I do. But I, I really prefer the Queen Regency at the moment. Uh, I want my King sieging. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Minus 3 stability? Ah, no. I'll leave it as it is. Yeah, I gotta repay the loan so that... Uh, I can take bigger ones. What is Orissa doing now? Oh, now they are moving back again west. Yeah, the moment I, I gotta kill this uh, axis. I'm not even sure. I, I think uh, Tirat gives conditional access and that enables Orissa to move in on uh, Nepal again. I think if uh, if I end the war with Tirat, that yeah, he will go. I have to go round. Because he won't have access to uh, Bengal. Pretty sure he doesn't. Uh, additional access? No, he doesn't have access through Bengal. Oh wait, they do. Oh no, that's Brugmanis. Oh man, you got you got. If you play micromanaging like this, you gotta watch so much stuff. So much stuff at once. What's the province limit here that I don't take it extra attrition? 15? Yeah, I can place more guys here. I can place 16, right? Yep. Wow, a little bit attrition. It's all mercs anyhow. Uh, I just gotta be sure that uh, John Pure wants to give me uh, access again. What is this now? Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> now is not the time for more stability cost modified, man. I'm probably gonna have to tech up uh, to to do this, get zero uh, stability before I lose more, and then do like this until 1532. Really? And I can't even do it because if I do it, then then the estate will get. Uh, 80%. Oh, wait. As long as I'm in internal conflicts, I can't get this, right? <laughs> oh, man. Do the clergy lose influence soon uh, with something? No, they will actually gain. Uh, no, they will lose some. Well, in 1522, they will lose five. Yeah, then it, yeah I can actually... I can actually do it. Uh, I, I need to get out of this internal conflict as soon as possible, so I, I should do this now. And, and corruption, oh man, corruption is increasing it also. Yeah, fewer rebel armies, yeah, okay, fewer unrest, okay. So if I get, yeah, if I get, can get more, yeah, and you should be reduced. Um... I'll just take this then. I don't care. I can get. I do, cannot. Cannot get dominance of the clergy uh, disaster when the internal conflicts is uh, still enabled. I'm actually contemplating now making. Uh, oh, not a not a mercenary cannon. Silly game. Uh, to make uh, a cannon here in the hopes it finishes, and then I'll put it here get an extra siege uh, bonus. Yep, I'll do that. I I'm hope I'm hoping they all go dogpile my capital now. And that Orissa doesn't uh, climb up here. 
So yeah, if I uh, remove the excess, then I still yeah, I 